Business and education has got an interesting role in South Africa. It's, it's a role that is complementary to government, supports government and must never take over the role of government. I think business has the opportunity to fund innovation, to help us to look at uh, new and creative ways of, of supporting education, but never to take over that public role. Business has also got a role in private education and allows us to, to have a, a private education sector that is vibrant and that makes a difference in the country, but never with, with the intention of taking away from, from the public system. So it's always complementary and it allows for parents that can afford it, whether they're black or white, to send kids to private schools. But I think they've got a very particular role there not to take over and, and to really kind of, um, I suppose, become a, a proxy or, or a different kind of provider to education. We need public schools and the bulk of our country and of our population need public schools that function well. So the private sector in that sense can really help us to, to support government, to support interventions, to look at innovation and look at creativity in, in a very um, collaborative way. And they have been doing that in South Africa for a long time. I think corporates in South Africa struggle to find focus in terms of what they invest because there's so much to do. And the support and the coordination they need, uh, strategic guidance they need from organisations like, like CHET and like Trilog are important because we can advise them through our research and through our experience about where to fund more strategically. I find many corporates have a bit of a shotgun approach and so they try and find, we'll fund an internship or we'll fund um, uh, whatever, a bursary or we'll get involved in, in, in ECD, but it's a very much of a scattergun shotgun approach. And I think through more careful planning, they can be more strategic in this. We've recently worked with a couple of corporates, um, like with the NetBank Private Wealth Foundation, and spent quite a couple of months with them, with their boards, their trustees, and also through research to try and find those core areas where they can fund most optimally so that they don't duplicate with other, uh, other funders, but that they also maximize the return on investment. So if you ask me where they should start, it's like a shopping list, okay, mm -hmm. where they should start. And I think everybody would tell you, start early years, get reading right, focus on mathematics. So there's a big list of things that need to be done there. For me, the issue is not where they should start as a big question. It's more like in their particular niche, where would they be the best suited? And to look at the bigger picture and how what they do fits together with what others are doing. So a lot of the work we're doing, and you interviewed Roxana a bit earlier today, is about collaboration, but also mapping and finding out who's doing what way so that we can collectively be stronger. So the question, the answer to the question about where they should start is, is, a, is a more nuanced question. It's not everybody start in ECD or everybody start in leadership. It's very much about how the pieces of the puzzle fit together. So, so where should corporates invest? I think it's more about looking at the models that are out there and I don't think any one of them is perfect. Uh, we had a session earlier today and we looked at some of the examples like the National Education Collaboration Trust or New Leaders Foundation or even we had an example from, from the health sector. I don't think there's one perfect example that we can put out there how corporates can collaborate. For me it's always about the particular purpose, the sector in which they operate and, and to look at the synergies between different players in, in, in their space. I don't think there's one model that works to be honest. Uh, and I think if we look for that silver bullet we'll be in trouble as a country. Our problem is much more complex, much more nuanced than finding a model that, that, is, that is best suited to a particular problem.